Hundreds of thousands of fentanyl pills will not be on our streets. It's all part of a larger bust involving suspected members of a Mexican drug cartel and a grand jury indictment of nine suspects. Good evening. I'm Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer. Thank you so much for joining us. Your reporter Olivia Young is live for us tonight in Adams County. And Olivia, this comes after months of investigating. It does, Michael. Investigators first got a tip about this back in May, and they nicknamed this operation Operation Dress for Less because multiple seizures actually happened in the parking lot of a clothing store. Now, six months later, it's led to what the DA calls a massive bust and a 47 count indictment. Grand Junction resident Andrea Thomas knows the lethal power of even one fentanyl pill. Ashley was 32 years old and she was the mother to a young son. In 2018, Thomas's daughter took half of a pill given to her by someone she trusted for pain. And it looked like a prescription medicine. And she took a half of one of these pills and died. Now, 381,000 fentanyl pills are off the streets thanks to an extensive investigation by the North Metro Task Force. We also seized 66 pounds of methamphetamine, 1.4 kilos of cocaine, 14 grams of heroin, one active methamphetamine lab, five guns, and $93,000 in cash. Nine members of the Sanudo Rivera drug trafficking group, part of the Sinaloa cartel, have been indicted for allegedly funneling drugs from Mexico into the U.S. The task force uncovered an entire distribution network of co-conspirators that connected Mexico to Colorado, as well as Oregon, Nevada, and Arizona. The DA says a wiretap of a, quote, big fish made the bust possible. If we didn't have the capability to do a wiretap, these drugs would be out on the streets right now, and I am confident more people would be dead because of them. The seizures that we're seeing is a minute amount of what's actually out there. Thomas wants to spread awareness about the danger of the fentanyl still on Colorado streets. No one's immune. And so we've got to get that message out there. Now, the message that Thomas wants to get out is that fentanyl is a risk to drug users and non-users alike. She says you should never take anything unless it was prescribed to you and purchased at a legitimate pharmacy. Michael? Olivia, what's the latest on these nine indicted cartel members? Have any of them been caught? So three of them are in custody, but the other six are still at large. We have their names and more information on our website, cbscolorado.com. Back right, to you. A major story, Olivia. Thank you very much.